It's a bit frosty this morning. Open my bonnet. Engine's looking good. But hold on a minute, what's that ugly looking thing in the middle? Oh, it's a rusty bonnet catch. After a number of years, it starts rusting. Just have a closer look at that. Although the catch works perfectly, it's pretty ugly being all rusty like this. Why don't they make them out of stainless steel? That'll solve the problem completely. The catches on the door pillar always look lovely and clean. Pristine and you can polish them. Lovely. Unfortunately, bonnet openers have to see this every time they open the bonnet. Although the back of it you don't really see, but it still looks a mess. So to take the catch off, we first need to release the little nipple on the cable. Just push it out of the slot and to the side. And then grab hold of the cable with a plastic sleeve thing and push down and it'll come loose. Like so. Now we need a T30 socket on a wrench. I've got a little quarter inch wrench here. Undo and take all the bolts out. Although one of the bolts is compromised by the uh, air conditioning pipe, so I'm just going to use an angle key for that. Once all the bolts are out, it comes out really easily. Now looking at the top catch on the bonnet, that's just as bad. So I'll take that off. First thing you want to do is take off the uh, release handle bolt. It's an um, 8mm bolt. Pull that forward and wangle it out of the front of the bonnet. It takes a bit of wangling. I think wangling is a term me Auntie Gertrude uses and something to do with Victorian underwear. Oh, what an awful thought. <laughs> Back to the catch, take all the T30 bolts out. Probably a good idea to put some penetrating fluid on these if they're really rusty. I didn't bother and they were a bit stiff, as you can see. Anyway, I managed to get them all out. And here's the bracket with the uh, three bolts. A simple spring and a little lever. It's quite light. Seems to be alright. Works alright. Just needs to be cleaned up. And the engine bay catch, that's a bit more complex. A few springs, a little one for the catch there, and there should be there's a big one for the main uh, bonnet catch. Little plastic insert. Yep, yeah, very rusty. It'll be, be quite hard to clean this up actually. Right, I'll take those into the garage.
Right, ideally you want to be using a, a blasting cabinet for these to clean them right up but I haven't got one of those so I'll have to make a do with a wire brush. Oh this is going to take me ages. Bugger that for the game of soldiers, I need something better. Ah this looks like the ticket. Yep, that'll do it. But first I need a bit of PPE. Get my mask on. And my goggles. That's the top catch done, now the bottom catch. And there we go, just about done. That's not bad. Yeah, quite happy with that. Just one or two little bits to do. Probably do that by hand with the wire brush. Quite like the look of that. And the bottom catch was a little bit harder. Maybe I've got a little bit more work to do on that one. Just do a little bit more to get all the rust off out of the corners and stuff. Right, it's getting late. I'm going in. I'll see you in the morning. Whew. 
Whew, it's a bit cold this morning. So sleeping on it, I've thought about how I'm going to paint these, and I'm not going to do. I'm just going to clear coat them. So I need to use some isopropyl alcohol to clean them all up. But I haven't got any of that, so I'll use brake cleaner. Whether it has the same effect, I don't know. All I'm trying to do is get rid of all the grease, which is especially important if you're going to clear coat something. But I'm not too bothered, and I'm sure they'll look fine for years to come. We'll just have to see. This is the clear coat I've got. Whether this is any good or not, I don't know. Again, only time will tell. So I'll just take one or two of the springs off. Probably the best way to spray these is little short bursts from all different angles, just to get into all the nooks and crannies. I'll start off with a light coat and then just work my way up. Once I've done the first coat, I'll leave it to dry for about half an hour and then I'll do another coat. Probably do about three coats. Then I've uh, managed to hang them up here on the shelf and using my halogen heater to heat it, heat the paintwork. It's really cold today. After the second coat, I got a bit hungry, so Bob came round and made me some noodles, which took the monotony off watching the paint dry. Right, all done now, take the heater away. And here's the finished result. There's still a little bit of rust showing in the crevices and the clean surface is all pitted a little bit. To me they look kind of retro with all their imperfections. Maybe I'll keep it like this or maybe I'll change it in the future, I don't know. I just thought I'd do something a little bit different. Let me know in the comments what you think. Put the springs back on, if I can remember which way round they went. Put the big spring back, quite a tension on this one. Just got to bolt them back on the car now. And as you can see, it's freezing weather. The bottom catch just slips in here nicely. And as the bolts had Loctite on them, I'm going to put some new Loctite on them. What you don't want is your catches coming loose and the bonnet flying up on the middle of the motorway at 70 miles an hour. So you need to make sure these don't come loose. Yep, looks very functional that. Just got to put the cable back on. Push it into place. And then slide the little plastic sleeve holder in place. And locate the nipple back on the catch. Great. Now fit the top catch. Again using some Loctite on the bolts. Put my 8mm socket on. Now I'll replace the release catch. 
making sure you know which way around it goes. Now there's something not quite right there. Ah, oh, that's better. Easy mistake to make. Put the locking nut on and tighten it up. That works okay. Yeah, very nice. And the bottom one. Just better make sure the bonnet close is okay. And we're done. Thank you very much for watching. Like, share and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.